hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how you can root your nexus 6p which is running the latest android and so we are going to need a couple of files for example uh, you will need the first android uh, sdk if it is not installed you can install the android slim version and this method is going to take a computer with you because uh, although it's not possible as of now the latest uh, whatever you will try one touch hack it's not working uh, with the environment so you're going to need a computer and you will need a couple of files also for example you are going to need a recovery based software which is called so i'm going to use a twrp here so try to download the latest one so i'll put the latest one what we are going to use here so that you can use the same since it's also verified here so, uh, you're going to need a beta super sv file in case you want to root your device so first we need to take the backup of the complete phone if you're going to unlock om unlock your nexus 6p it is going to format your phone completely so make sure to take proper backup up, copy all the stuffs either to your drive or your computer all right now first of all you, you have taken backup then uh, you download the files twrp and beta super su so first of all go to the settings under the settings uh, you need to uh, enable the developer option so you you can do that by simply clicking on the build number six to seven times is already it is enabled so it's not going to do that again so this is what you will get a developer option you have to go inside then uh, you can have to turn on this OEM unlocking. You have to turn on USB debugging. All right. So these two things you have to do. Now we will configure our computer to use uh, for the Android SDK. So there are a couple of ways, guys. First of all, the the mostly recommended is that in case you have a good internet connection and a sort of unlimited internet connection, you should go and install this uh, straight away Android SDK. So steps are simple. You just need to. Uh, type in here on the google android sdk slim so i will put a direct link here once you get in here you will see this is official android sdk you just need to click on this download android studio 2.1 so this is somewhere near to 1.2 gigabytes here. So once you install that one uh, you will get uh, this directory inside this here uh, it will go to inside your application data local android sdk so this is the recommended way because this is the most recent one that you will get because of the adb.exe as you can see and the fastboot.exe we're gonna need this to import it files so this is a most uh, complete way that you should do in case you do not have internet connection so i will put the direct link of the things uh, where you should use so you're gonna need uh, either the android sdk slip version which is a version 1.0.31 or you can use this uh, fastboot adb this is xda developer link so i'll put the both but the recommended one is to use first one uh, the direct android sdk version you should install that from here and you can use that so once you have set it the android sdk meaning make sure to power off the device so press all the keys together here is the one uh, power and the volume down and see so you see uh, we've got this window here so you need to leave it that way so once you are inside this menu you have to use your usb type c cable and connect your phone with the usb cable so once you are inside the platform tools you need to enable this command prompt here you can simply do that by shift control and just right click on the mouse you get this open command window here so already i have opened the command window here so you need to just uh, click here and you need to type the command fast put devices just to check whether the device is connected or not so make sure you connect your usb cable that time it should be type c obviously so it will show you guys a device connected status then you need to use a command fast pulls flashing unlock this will uh, unlock your oem just hit enter uh, it will come inside the window you can see uh, it will show you guys yes and no if it is not uh, unlocked it will show as a yes so you need to uh, select a power button here i need to scroll with the volume key so it's already yes so i will just press the power key here so it's uh, set it is unlocked so once it is done so it will flash you here you need to again go and reboot your device and command you need to use to reboot the device is called fast boot reboot so we will type again here fast boot reboot so now you can disconnect the cable from here so cable is disconnected so press power it will show some kind of warning so don't bother about it so it will just uh, do it that way so since the device is completely erased so you may get this kind of thing now we will just go and do a setup of our device as you can see guys our device has booted up it's completely reset it so i will just go to the setting here and verify again so this is the android in right now everything is it is complete 
so once everything is set up you need to uh, copy the super uh, file from your computer to your phone in, inside the internal storage we'll just uh, power up the phone again once it is powered off we'll use the same combination of uh, power button and volume down to get inside the bootloader mode use the power and volume down together so now we got this window we can connect our usb cable again now we'll again move to our computer here now so once you're inside this uh, after connecting cable just check again fast food devices just to make sure uh, that everything is working here's the fast food devices the device is connected and you can see we have the following files here you need to uh, again run a command to install the twerp so we are going to use twerp 3. you can see twerp-3.0.2.1 angular that is for nexus 6p then we run the command uh, to install that twerp here this command here fast boot flash recovery then what is the file in here twerp hyphen this one and hit enter so it says everything is done now you have to reboot your phone inside the recovery use the volume key and get inside the recovery mode press the enter button this is obvious you will get this uh, warning window so don't don't worry about that So as you can see, we are able to see our team in here. That is, uh, it's a TWW recovery window. So once you get here, uh, you need to get here and click on this uh, swipe to allow modifications. So get inside install directory, and you need to uh, go inside the download directory. You need to select the latest beta SU. That is beta update super SU. Click here and confirm swipe to flash. So everything is done now you need to click on the wipe cache and dalvik click here when it is done just go and reboot the system so guys our device has booted up and we will just go and verify whether it is rooted there or not so we will go inside this and download an app called the root checker basic which tells like whether your device is uh, rooted or not so we have installed our root checker basic and we'll just see whether the device is rooted or not so just click on that it shows actually nexus 6p and version 7.2 just verify root so you need to grant it here permission and it shows congratulations root access is properly installed so that's it guys so in case you still have concerns and queries you can tweet me at the GIS support or you can just comment me yourself on the youtube channel video i will try to help you guys as much as possible so it's very straight step you just need a computer and pc with an android sdk or slim version installed that couple of files like twerp and the super su file and your completely will be wiped out as you can see right now here but as a one-time job once you install that it will be fun to use android in. and in case you are wishing to see all android and features and tips there's a complete dedicated playlist installed on my uh, youtube channel go ahead and watch that this is sort of thanks for watching i'll talk to you in the next